Welcome to Ammo Quest, where I'm trying to find if there's a round of ammunition that will reliably penetrate a good solid 12 inches, 12 to 18 inches of ballistic gel and expand so that it can be considered a effective stopping round from something as small as today's micro pistols, like the Beretta Pico, the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard, Ruger LCP, or this Taurus TCP. I think if we can find a round that's effective, that would make this just an extremely excellent pocket gun. So I've been trying all the rounds I can find. And speaking of find, here's one that I cannot find. Uh, this is Fiocchi Extrema, and it is extremely hard to locate. I can't find these anywhere, scoured the gun shows, all the local places. I finally found a kind forum member on taurusarm.net who offered to send me a few to help out with the test. So thank you very much for that. And I'm looking forward to testing these because uh, Bruce over at Mouse Gun Addict has tested these and reported that they did very well. And they are loaded with the well-regarded Hornady XTP bullet. So I've tested other rounds with the XTP that did surprisingly well. Maybe these will also. Um, but instead of speculating, let's go test. We got the results for the Fiocchi Extrema, and they are pretty darn good. Uh, I'm happy with this. The expansion is mild, what we've come to expect from the XTP bullet, uh, but this is a solid performer. If you had the Fiocchi Extremas loaded in your gun, I think you would be pretty well armed. The penetration results of the Extremas is nothing short of outstanding for a 380. You can see the longest bullet is at 13 and 3 quarters at its resting point, and we have the second longest at over 12 inches. Then you see the other three bullets, they all look respectable, but in reality, they perform much better than these resting points indicate because you can see especially the top two were affected by substantial bounce back. Their penetration tracks go fully 14 inches, but then they bounce back, and we can see that played out in the slow motion video, how those rounds bounce back. And actually the third bullet has a little bit of excessive bounce back as well. So we're going to correct for the bounce back by using the Schwartz quantitative ammunition selection formula. Once we compensate for the bounce back and put the bullets back where they really belong, the shortest bullet is 12.87 inches. The next one is 13.19. Then we had one go to at 13.54. Then this one actually went to 13.62 and the furthest bullet was 13.83. So once again, our target is to get bullets that will travel a minimum of 12 inches, and we got it. Each one of these bullets traveled 12.87 inches or more. Examining the recovered Fiocchi Extremas, this is gonna look awfully familiar. If you've seen any of my other reviews of the XTP rounds, whether it's the Hornady Custom or the Precision One or the HPR, they all end up looking exactly the same. This Hornady XTP bullet is a really consistent, really solid performer. You have consistent expansion, five basically textbook examples. It doesn't expand very big. That's really why it can get the penetration it gets. Obviously, we'd love to have huge expansion too, but in the 380, there just isn't enough power to push a huge bullet deeply enough to cause an incapacitating wound. So these smaller, bullets are able to reach deep enough and that's really what we're looking for penetration first expansion second the fiocchi extremis performed really well i was very impressed with the penetration that we got and the expansion was satisfactory the only thing that could stop me from recommending these rounds would be if they don't perform well in the denim tests well we're going to get those answers pretty soon i've only got a couple more rounds to go before we reach the finals where we put the best performing rounds through the four layers of heavy denim and come to a conclusion as what is the best most effective round for today's micro 380 pistols thanks again for watching uh, and please hit subscribe so that you're notified when a new video is posted or you can also check us out on the shootingthebull.net blog or on facebook